Hey everyone, Lance Danger here making a quick video. This is day 10 of 100 days of making comics. As you're aware by now, I am vacationing in Spain. Everything has been awesome so far. Getting used to the time difference has been a bit hectic. It's like a six hour difference. Um, in terms of creating, I haven't done that much. Um, I would show you some of the sketching I've been doing, but the lighting really isn't great, so when it's like in the sketch portion, I used to, I tend to sketch very lightly, as you guys have seen in the previous videos when I'm recording myself doing the actual work, but instead I'm going to show a couple of things we've gotten so far, like there's a comic book shop that we went to that's here and also a department store that has a book and comic book section and manga section as well and I'm going to count this as part of the hundreds because I did get a couple of art supplies to be able to make art with and a couple of trades and manga for inspiration and research there you go for research sorry for the shaky cam again this is from my iphone well the first thing i kind of want to show off are these sakura brush pens these are flesh tones they're actually incredibly inexpensive here compared to the u.s so that's why we got two of them instead of one and I actually discovered that one of my favorite animes of all time, Guroko's Basketball, or also known as Guroko no Basket in Japan. Um, yes, a couple of weeks ago, they finally released it in English. In the US, they're releasing them in the 2-in-1 volumes. I was really interested in getting it because I loved the anime, but I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't like the individual volumes like it was originally published in Japan but here in Spain they've actually been um, produced they've actually been selling the manga since late last year in Spanish and in single volumes and I don't mind reading in Spanish I, I know how to read Spanish it's it's all good so I actually found this it's still in the package. It's the first edition of the Spanish language Guroko in a promotional basket thingy, basketball thingy rather. That is so awesome. So I got volumes one and two at this department store called FNAC, which is pretty freaking awesome. And also, got this. Yes, it is a Game of Thrones notebook. And it has the House Stark sigil. But what makes this even cooler is if you press here where the sticker says to press. The sigil lights up. It's the little things in life, folks. It's the little things. The Narf remembers. And then at the comic book shop called Electra Comic Book Shops, um, I, we got volumes three and four of Kuroko's Basketball. I do have to say it looks glorious. And also for pretty much the same price as probably a little less than the soft cover paperbacks i got hardcover paperbacks of amazing spider-man the jm straczynski and john romita run got volumes three and four so that was pretty cool so a lot of research material there 
Uh, you gotta love the J. Scott Campbell covers. This is one of my all-time favorite covers. Again, they're in Spanish, but it really doesn't matter. I read it the same anyway. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. Hopefully, I'll be able to get, like, lay down the inks better on... Or at least tying up the pencils better on some sketches for some pages so it can be shown better but so far so good um another flawless victory whenever i can get on my laptop i'll like put the usual links and whatnot in the description box thank you guys all for watching if i look extremely tired it's because i am but it's a good kind of tired Another day, another flawless victory. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.